Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this tutorial about uh, Hanley particles. Uh, a presentation that I will uh, make today with my friend Brandon. Brandon, I invite Hi, you. I'm Brandon from uh, Pixel Planet Studios. Let's dive right now. So Brandon, you don't know the tool, so I will explain you how, how Hanley particles Pro uh, can help motion designers. So first off, um, the tool is an extension, so you will find it under, you know, window and that extension, not a script. Then the tool itself is mm, pretty simple. You have here the possibility to preview the different behaviors of the particles themselves. And I will show you how you can create in a few seconds, a particle system. So you have the numbers here of particles that you can use. You can tick the checkbox for to have the same speed, you know, in the flow, or the same size, or both, same speed and same size. You can have also, uh, instead of a flow, you can have a burst, to, a burst with two options, explode and include. And then you will and Can you explain what those, those burst options are? So explode i assume would start from nothing and and explode out yes yeah yeah uh, i can show you immediately what explode is so i will for example launch here with a star and as you can see boom you have wow. immediately uh, a burst and you will have many options uh, i will explain them in a few in a few minutes um so then you have also many different options you know that you can add to your particle uh, look and feel. I will use something really simple. Uh, I will use the ellipse shape and I will just launch the uh, very first um, uh, setup. So as you can see, it's like bubbles, which are the, and the flow is from down to the up. Then I will have options here. The particle size, you have the influence here of the size. Then you have the color, so I will use a size, a big size, and show that you can change, use different color for the particles. I will use a white. You have also here the stroke around the shape itself. So I will use, for example, here uh, no stroke. And then you have the flow, which is the vertical speed, for example. So I will use a negative flow to have a flow not to the to up but down and as you can see you have a kind of snow which is down and then i will use the horizontal move here so you have a space between almost like a particles. almost like a spreader yeah it is and then you have um uh, you know the, the frequency of the uh, horizontal move so if I have a frequency of seven, it just, you know, moving like this. But if I increase this number, mm -hmm. you will see, as you can see, Brandon, it's so. Cool. So you have the vertical speed, which controls how uh, fast it yes. travels up or down. And then the horizontal movement is kind of like a, um, how much uh, space it may, it, it may cover in, in going back and forth. Exactly, exactly. The main thing is not really here. The main thing is that you can use a custom shape. So for this, uh, I will use here, for example, a font uh, with the uh, arrows. This one is interesting. And I will turn this shape by creating a shape from text. And now I have my shape here. And I will create, I will select custom shape with this icon, particles, custom, and I will launch the system. So there is nothing here because I need to go in my settings and in particle source, mm. I will select the shape itself. And then you will see the shapes the, the default color, you know, the blue is the default color, but I can select, let's say a green like this. And I have here my particles. So for example, uh, I will 
I will use uh, the same thing, but I will use the burst to explode. And then when I will launch, I will again select my source and I will have an explosion here of my shape, the shape, the, the shape that I've selected. Here. And I, I could see uses for like uh, fire particles or water particles or even like... Uh, yes. you know any any sort of custom like particle system that you want to do with with um obviously you had an example there with uh text characters so if you want certain text characters to be falling or raining it it may be that might make sense but also you know some sort of custom path of whatever kind of particles you're trying to emulate right yeah so, yeah for, for for example let's say that uh, i want to mimic you know a kind of uh, cartoonish uh, rain i will orient like this, my flow, and you know, I will have a kind of rain, cool. you know, here, just using uh, 17 particles with the bar too. Sure. But it's not only something that you can uh, use, you know, uh, in your animation, because, it, you know, as you can see, it just takes seconds to create the particle system. And uh, the more you know how it works, uh, the faster you can go. But the, the cool thing here, uh, uh, let's redo the snow uh, example. Yeah, I have something, uh, you know, for um, <laughs> the end of the year, Merry Christmas. So yeah. that's, that's what I want, exactly what I want. I will use this button to export a format, which is the JSON format. This format is compatible with Notice, but it's above all compatible with Rive. Uh, we need to bake expressions using hold keyframes. Proceed, of course, I will proceed. Then I will have here um, the explanation of what's happening. And boom, I have my JSON, which is ready. I will go to the Rive software. I have already uh, a setup here uh, with a kind of animation when I move my mouth. But what I want to do is uh, to add uh, my animation directly from After Effects. So I will select my file, you know, the JSON file. After processing, I have here an artboard, which is exactly what I had in After Effects. And that's something really cool for uh, Rive users. I will do what I you know here to create my um yeah my mate and are you able to change any of those parameters in rive yeah we I, I can over in after effects i can change the colors i can change mm -hmm. uh, the frame rates i can change everything i want to change but uh, as you can see in a in in a snap in a few seconds i have my system in rive which is a bonus you know the cherry on the cake uh, yeah, very cool. The... But you can change uh, the, those parameters that you were able to change inside of After Effects. You can also do that within Rive, you're saying? Yes, yes. For example, here. If I oh, could... perfect. Okay, cool. Uh, let me show you something uh, a little bit sexy. Uh, I will use, for example, uh, the, the polygon shape. Uh, I will use um, here the twirl tool. And the twirl, which is used uh, to, to modify uh, some footage or something in a kind of a distort uh, a way, but you can't have this kind of thing, which is really and really pretty cool because it's already an animation. You don't need any oh, kind wow. of uh, displacement uh, um, uh, feature or things like that. You, you create immediately your, uh, your system. You can also change the effect, uh, uh, for example, when you have this kind, this kind of um, behavior is pretty neat. You know, you have um, the. So I don't know if, if you have something that you, you want to to see deeper, or if if it's clear enough. Yeah, I I kind of am interested to see um, some more of your like a, a, a presets, obviously, that kind of partnered with um, effects like the twirl and blob. But 
I really liked um, out of the gate what you had. Uh, it, it looked like twirl in itself is a is a pretty cool thing that both motion graphics and VFX might be like a really great starting point um, with that. So I'd be interested to see uh, some of some of the other um, things that yeah. you've come up with. with yeah, those. indeed. I, I would show you something uh, with only the bars, uh, no effects at all. Um, maybe a lot of them. And I will voluntarily use this and this and this. You will have, as you can see, uh, the feeling that it's in 3D, mm. kind of 3D, you know, even if we stay in 2D, but this, the displacement provide this, uh, these feelings also, we can do the same thing. Oh, interesting. Okay. So actually uh, one of my questions was going to be, if you wanted left to right, uh, motion graphics, would you recommend just like rotating the layer? Um, because you kind of have it set up that like vertical speed, mm -hmm. vertical speed is, <clears throat> is really what controls the, the, the speed, but there's, there's no like, uh, directional change, but with flow angle, we, we take everything that we've just created and, and, and kind of rotate it. Right. Yeah. You can play, like you said, with the flow angle. So, and I, I think it's probably good for people to know too, since this is all done in shape layers. Um, I assume that you can open once you've created this, you can open, uh, that project up on any computer, even if you don't have handy particles pro, right? Yes, of course. Uh, the, the, you, there's no need to have the two. You can share your your file, your project file, with this layer already done, and uh, someone else can continue to play with the and they parameters. Can tweak, your, tweak your settings. Yeah, yes. that's a that's a big deal for us, and I know some other people as well. If you are passing projects back and forth, or if you need to, um, you know, set something to render on another machine as you continue to work on your machine. Yeah. Um, not having plugins, you know, sometimes yeah. uh, creates hiccups in that. So obviously yeah. it's nice that this is, um, and some of those particle systems you talked about, um, you know, do tend to, uh, uh, you know, like the red giant, uh, particle systems and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Obviously you need those plugins. So. Yeah. Yeah. You're totally right. Awesome. Can we see some more examples of burst? Oh yeah. Yeah. Of course you can have this kind of thing. Okay. So not same size and not same speed, but. Uh, when you will horizontally move, you know, here, the, the particles, you, you can have pretty neat results because you will have this kind of experience. Oh, wow. And that's uh, something really interesting. Um, if you use uh, gradients, uh, for example, how to use gradients, you will, you will tick this uh, checkbox. Okay, because it will, it means that it's the default field. The default field is this field. So if I alt click on this, you know that I will have uh, gradients. So if I use that's a keyboard shortcut I did not know. I've always had to click uh, where it says fill there. So and, uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, cool. that's these colors are really close, but. Uh, yeah, and like any kind of shape layer, you will have, you know, the possibility to uh, to, to, to have a different, um, uh, you will position your, your gradient at the center, on the left, on the right. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But as you can see, you, you so it's it's big because I want to show in this tutorial how it works. But of course, you will, you will have, you would want to have something maybe more discreet and um, something like this, you know. So I think that we <clears throat> we, we, we already had an, an, another, a large of the view of what you can do, but uh, the main thing and th that you need to um, to keep in mind is that uh, there are many, many possibilities because we have many, many different effects to, to mix, you know, with the, the basic features. And if you, for example, if you had an echo uh, to uh, a burst here, immediately you have boom, you have something so different, you know. Um, yeah, cool. Yeah. So you, it just up to um, your imagination and uh, you, 
yeah, you, I can't cover all the possibilities. That's awesome. Is there a way to make the time that the time that that loop takes? Is there a way to to extend that before it loops again? I invite you to uh, to precomp, you know, and mm -hmm. to map uh, uh, the 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 time um, to, to have something maybe uh, a little bit slower, or if you want to stop and freeze, it's not an option already um, pre-made uh, in the tool itself. Cool. Okay. Okay. I let I let people I let users to uh, uh, to, to 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 try to tweak uh, their uh, their animation using the tool and to explore uh, the possibilities. I don't sure. Think yeah, I, I can think of uh, lots of different types of examples. Um, you know, past like the rain and stuff. Like you said, some little accents of little. Um, and I know that's the type of animation we've done before with some with some text. Uh, animations and things and having, you know, little, uh, shapes pop out and stuff to highlight an accent, um, and just kind of, uh, enhance some of that, uh, like text animation. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yes, yes, yes. And, uh, yeah, for, for example, uh, there is a known, uh, trick, you know, to have a kind of, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, organic bubbles, etc. but you can in a click here. You can uh, immediately have a kind of behavior. So let's imagine that you have to animate some cells uh, in blood. And I know that there are many motion designers who are working uh, with uh, uh, healthcare, things like that. Uh, you can immediately, you know, use uh, the system uh, and it will do it uh, for you. Uh, so yes, uh, there is many, many possibilities. Cool. So yes, yeah, so thank you uh, very much once again, Brandon, uh, uh, to, uh, to 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 for being my my wingman on this presentation. <laughs> uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, I hope that uh, the tool uh, uh, will be helpful for you. So uh, thank you, everyone.